Hey there and welcome to a new video. In today's video, we will solve a tricky SQL interview question. For that, I have already created a table called the customer order table. So first, let us go through the question. Then we will see the basic schema and then see expected output and see how we can solve the query. So we are given a table with customer ID, order date and order ID. Now we have to find the longest sequence of consecutive days a customer placed orders. So here is the table which I have created, which is the customer order table. Let me execute it so we can see the schema. So we have the customer order table with customer ID, order date and order ID. Now from this table, we have to find the longest sequence with respect to each customer. That is consecutive days a customer placed orders. And the expected output I have created in Excel. Let us take a look at that as well. So here is the input table that we now saw in SSMS and this is the expected output. When we go through the input and expected output, we can see that for customer ID corresponding to one, the maximum consecutive days, the customer placed an order is two. And when we go through the input table, we can see that the customer one has placed an order on one, one, 2025 and two, one, 2025. And again, the customer has not placed an order on three. And then coming back, the customer again placed an order on 4th and 5th which are two consecutive days again and then the customer is not placing an order on 6th hence the consecutive days is not continuing and now the customer is placing an order on 7th so when we go through the entire orders placed by customer id 1 we can see that the maximum consecutive days the customer 1 has placed an order is 2 corresponding to record 01 01 2025 and 02 01 2025 it is two consecutive days then coming to order id 103 and 104 also there is two consecutive days where the customer id one is placing orders and then coming to the next record which is corresponding to order id 105 we can see that the customer is placing an order on 7th 1 2025 that is on only one day so the maximum consecutive days corresponding to customer id one is two days that is the result we have obtained here now going through the second customer id which is customer id 2 we can see that the customer id corresponding to 2 is placing an order on 01 2025 02 2025 and 03 2025 for the same month so the maximum consecutive days corresponding to which customer id 2 is placing an order is 3 that is on three days consecutively customer id 2 is placing orders and then coming to customer ID 3, we can see that the customer is placing an order on 01-01-2025 and again the customer is placing an order on 03-01-2025 and on 02, the customer is not placing an order. Hence, the number of maximum consecutive days, the customer 3 is placing an order will be 1. Hence, we are getting the result as 1. So, this is how we have to build the logic and obtain the result now let us go back to SSMS and see how we can solve the question. So going back to SSMS, we have the table customer order which we saw in Excel. Now let us start writing query for the same. So first we will create an additional column which is the ID column based on a window function that is the raw number window function. So for that we will write the raw number window function that is row underscore number open and close parenthesis over and partition partition will be based on customer id customer id and then order by close will be based on order date order by order date in ascending order now this column will be named as id column now execute and we will get a new column execute and we have a new column created which is the id column now we are going to find the difference between the id column and order date for that we will place the first query within a cte that is with t1 as open and close parenthesis and the entire query will be inside the first cte that is t1 select now we require all the column from t1 cte that is star comma and before writing the second expression we will write from close which is taken from the cte t1 now we will make use of the date add function that is date add open and close parenthesis interval will be based on day 
and now the difference will be based on id column that is minus of id comma then we require the date column which is the order date column order date and this will be the window that we are going to create based on which we can find the consecutive days now execute and we will get a new column which is the window column based on which we get a partition or a window then based on this we can find the maximum consecutive days now we created a new column that is the window column now we will place the second query also inside another cd which is t2 t2 as open and close parenthesis and now we are going to write a third cd or a third query which is based on the window column which we created and the customer id column for that select and now before writing the expressions we will write from close which is taken from t2 cte now we will write customer id column that is customer id comma the second column which we require will be the window column window comma and now we are going to write another expression based on the count aggregate function count of open and close parenthesis and now inside this we are going to specify the order id order underscore id or even star will give us the same result but we will write order id for now and will be giving us num days so this will give the number of days for which a particular customer is continuously making an order now execute this sorry before executing we have to write a group by close also since we have an aggregate function within the select close we have to write a group by close copy the columns which are available within the select close group by paste it here now execute this execute and we have a result where we have customer id a window column which we earlier created in the t2 cte and now the number of days column now from this result we have to find the maximum consecutive days a customer is placing an order so when we go through this result we can see that corresponding to customer id 1 and window which we created the number of consecutive days is 2 or number of days is 2 and then coming to customer id 1 again we can see that the number of consecutive days coming in the result will be 2 and again we have one record corresponding to customer id 1 where we have number of consecutive days as 1 we have to find the maximum consecutive days for that we will place the third query also inside another ct that is t3 as open and close parenthesis and now we are going to write a fourth query that is select the first column will be customer id and the second column will be max of num underscore days open and close parenthesis and this column we will be naming as consecutive days that is maximum consecutive days now this is taken from the t3 ct t3 and now we will write a group by close which is based on the customer id column that is customer id execute and we will be getting the customer id and maximum consecutive days for which the customer is continuously placing an order now let us copy the result and see if we have obtained the same result as the expected one and here is the expected output and here is the result which we have obtained so corresponding to customer id 1 we have maximum consecutive days 2 here also we have obtained 2 then corresponding to customer id 2 we have maximum consecutive days 3 the same thing only we have obtained and corresponding to customer id 3 we have one consecutive days at the max so the same thing we have obtained in the result that we obtained in ssms so this is one method of solving the query if you have some more interesting method please comment the method along with the solution so it will be helpful for others as well the ddl and dml to create the table will be available in the description you can copy the same from the description Hope you like this video. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more. Thank you.